Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are looking at an icon of video games everywhere. We are looking at the G36C. This is the G36C here. This is the regular G36. As you can see, the barrel... Whoa! As you can see, the barrel is quite a bit longer on the regular G36. So C, in this case, stands for carbine and cut down or chopped off or whatever you want the C to stand for. Uh, we've got more rails than the regular G36 as well, which we always like. We always like our rails. So G36 here, uh, home SMG rifle, carbine G36C. We are in 556 by 45 NATO. We do not take Stanag mags. Boo. Only take these special G36 mags. So we've got a G36 mag, a G36 drum. Whoa, luckily. Got this monstrous drum on there. Gotta love that. We've got the same folding stock as the G36. By the way, I'll be covering the G36 full-sized in a separate video because it's in the assault rifle category. So we will come back to you later. In the meantime, let's check this out. Let's take a look at the controls. We got pretty standard. Uh, assault rifle type controls on the G36, which is really nice. Here's our selector switch. We start in safe. One click uh, left on the trackpad and we'll go to semi. One more click and you go to full auto. There's no three round burst or two round burst on this mode. One more click and of course we're back to safe. Here's our charging handle right down the center line so it's nice and ambidextrous. Just grab it from either side like this or like this. The little handle will automatically flip just to Indicate what side you're kind of grabbing it on. There we go. Flippy, 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 flip. All day long, and it will lock open on empty. Down in the trackpad will eject the magazine. Yay! Put a new magazine up on the trackpad. We'll release the bolt. Yay! Modern controls, gotta love them. And let's see if it's got a bolt release button anywhere that I can find. Yeah, I can't find a manual button for it anywhere, but uh, you don't really need it because it's got up on the trackpad to control it. So that works fine anyway. What else we got? We got a folding stock. Ooh, so grab it by the butt pad. Grab it by the butt pad. Grab it by the butt pad. No. Oh, grab it by that top. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so not quite on the butt pad there, but it looks like you got to grab it by the skeletal stock area there. Of course, it'll fire right through it, no problem. So there's your folding stock. What else we got on here? I think that is it. Well, that looks like a mag release paddle, but you can't do AK style tactical reloads with the G36, so that's unfortunate. See what attachments will fit. Well, look at all these rails. Got rails on the left, got rails on the right, rails on the bottom, got rails on the top. Yay! Where are ours? There's my red dot. There's that. For that, there's my laser. I'm going to put the laser on it. Now we got a laser. How about foregrip? Vertical foregrip right there. No problem. Yeah. Let's see what fits on the barrel. Muzzle. Oh, look at that. That's a big sucker. Let's put a muzzle brake on it. Yeah, that'll go. How about a suppressor? Fantastic. Looks good on there. Barrel extension. That looks nice. How about our rail adapter? That looks good. Don't need it, but you can put it on there if you want to. It's already got a folding stock, so you don't need another stock. Nice. I like it. Let's check out these iron sights and see what we got. Well, nice looking. Rear aperture, really big. Nice looking front post with a big ring that matches the rear aperture. I like that. That is really easy to use. And if you click it, we've got an alternative. You've got a notchy posty thing with a very deep notch on the rear and still a nice chunky front post. Here's the problem. They're zeroed way off. Uh, yeah, so let's see, are we on semi? Let's get on semi. You can see that zero is extremely low. And that's not just height off bore. That's just a really bad zero. So let's try these. No, that looks about the same, a little better. 
But in order to get this zeroed, there we go. You gotta aim it quite a bit high. So that is unfortunate. Let's see what it looks like with a red dot on there. Low pro yeah, low profile red dot. Uh yeah, it doesn't get up over the sights too much, but at least you can see the dot there. And the dot is actually centered correctly. So that's good news. It's not completely broken. But unfortunately, the iron sights, the design is really good. They just don't seem to be set up correctly. Yeah. But that's not all with sights. As you can see, this is on a giant bar. And if you look in the spawner, there's alternative bars here. You've got this Scope G36 and, if I can grab it, this Scope G36 combo. Unfortunately, you can't take this part off. There's no way to grab and remove this. So you could only put it on top like that. But it does work. Sort of. Looks like the zero ring's still off. There we go. Let's see what the other one looks like, just for laughs. Gimme! Gimme! There we go. My god. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's get this a little forwards. Oh my god. Well, that's 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 a possibility. Ha <laughs> ha! Sure. Let's do a recoil test. I'm gonna use our laser as a guide since the sights stink. Uh, what do we got here, though? 30 rounds of 5.56 by 45. Let's go. Mmm, drifting all over, but look, we got six in the 10 ring right off the bat and almost a nine average. So actually, that is quite good. Let's try the muzzle brake on there. Ooh, started off good, but we really started to drift there. Yeah, 8.77. Started off really good. Stayed within the 10 ring about 11 rounds in. Whoops. And then, yeah, started to drift out till the 8.7. And then started to come back. So, yeah, a little drifty on that one. And finally, our suppressor. Ooh, same sort of thing. Stayed good for about 10 rounds. Yeah, and then started to drift. Let me see here. There we go. Yeah, about 10, 12 rounds stayed. To, oh, 15 rounds stayed in the 10 ring. Then started to drift out only towards the end of the magazine. So remarkably good if you just don't mag dump. There you have it, the G36C with lots of rails, modern controls, folding stock, a 30 and 100 round drum mag, almost everything you could want except stinko sights. That's unfortunate. Till next time, I will see ya. Um, that's good recoil, friends. Yeah. 9.73 out of 100 rounds. Huh. Maybe that drum makes it heavier.